Well, week nine of the USFL season is it's it's coming. It's coming, and it's coming hard at, at us all. We only really only have one game that matters. This could be the last game of the USFL season, at least the regular season anyway, that matters. We'll talk about that in a moment. We got to get to the other, you know, big news and highlights and stuff like that first. Uh, the players have voted to indeed. They will indeed have a union. And there's also Trace Adkins. He will be performing at the USFL semifinals in Canton, Ohio. There's also some XFL stuff, but that's not really important, you know, this week. Uh, Saturday, you probably don't want to watch any games on Saturday. New Jersey, Michigan is the first game. New Jersey is favored by 7.5. The over under 46.5. Luis Perez, Darius Victor forming a nice tandem. And, you know, the question for Michigan is what can Paxton Lynch do? What will he do? What can he do for the Panthers? As the Panthers are eliminated from playoff contention and New Jersey has locked up the North Division and looking to cruise and rest you know this this serves more as you know this serves more as a litmus test for Michigan instead of you know New Jersey because I think New Jersey can just rest and breathe easy but you know you still gotta win games so we'll see and then Houston Birmingham the other game on Saturday Birmingham is favored by 12 and a half the over under is 43 and a half. I don't know why these over unders are so high for some of these games. I don't, I don't, I don't see that. Jamar Smith, he's back to form. He had a, he had a better game last week, and you also got Marlon Williams assisting him at wide receiver now. So, you know, with the wide receiver, you know, tandems for the Stallions, you know, not really being there, you know, with all these injuries and stuff like that. Somebody else had to step up, and Marla Williams is the guy that steps is the guy that's going to step up. I think for Houston, the Gamblers, they have Chris Odom, and he has been a force. You know, could he stop Jamar Smith's momentum? Uh, we'll see. We will see on Saturday. We will see how that goes. And then Sunday, uh, we'll go over Philadelphia Pittsburgh first. Philadelphia is favored by eight and a half. The over/under here is the highest of the four games at 47 and a half. With Case Cook is rolling, Channing Stripling being a baller on defense. The stars are looking pretty. Still think they need to improve their record, and they can do that against Pittsburgh, who has Roland Rivers at quarterback. Is he going to be, you know, the guy that you know kickstarts a Wind streak for the Maulers or something like that? Probably not. Uh, but who knows? Um, again, all three team, all three of Birmingham, New Jersey, and Philadelphia have clinched the playoff spot. Houston, Pittsburgh, and Michigan don't have playoff spots. They are eliminated from playoff contention. The only game that matters on Sunday. The only game that matters this weekend, again, this could be the last game that matters before the USFL playoffs, depending on how this game goes, is Tampa Bay, New Orleans. Tampa Bay must win this game and win next week against Birmingham in order to go to the USFL playoffs. If they do not win this game against New Orleans, New Orleans will get to go to the playoffs, Tampa Bay will not, and I will not be watching Week 10 if that happens, I'm telling y'all that right now, I will not be watching Week 10. I will make a preview for Week 10, but I'll make more of a preview for the semifinals as well. Um, so the semifinal preview could be that, you know, could be that Friday, around that time, Friday. You know, when I usually put these out because this is coming out tomorrow um, on a Thursday because uh, I, just, I just feel like putting this out on a Thursday instead of a Friday. But Kyle Sloter, he's got to have a better week. He didn't have a good week last week for the Breakers. And you got David Bellamy on the other side of the football. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes, you know, for the Breakers. They've had, they've had a good, good season so far. They just need to keep this going. And they got to, they got to, they got to have a complete game in order to 
be able to lock up a playoff spot. For the Bandits, it's all on Jordan Tamu. It's all on him. He must be on point in this game in order for Tampa Bay to get to the postseason. He must be on point this week. He must be on point next week. And if he's not on point this week, Tampa Bay will have nothing to play for come week 10. And neither will I. Neither will I. I will not be. I will not be looking at all that, but uh, I am going to make some predictions, and it, the first three are pretty easy. New Jersey, Birmingham, and Philadelphia will all win, I think, in my personal opinion. The toss-up is the game of the week, Tampa Bay, New Orleans. Now, again, New Orleans is favored by three and a half. I, this game could go either way with the way these two teams play, because Tampa Bay had some rough games. New Orleans has had some rough games in the past. And I think Tampa Bay will make Week 10 interesting. I think Tampa Bay will win against New Orleans and make Week 10 interesting. If they do not win and do not make Week 10 interesting, uh, it's going to be it's gonna be rough. It's going to be a rough weekend, I'll tell you that much. So, Come back Sunday. Uh, you know, we'll be discussing everything, getting everything out of the way on Sunday, you know, recapping week nine, we'll see how this Tampa Bay New Orleans game goes. And if that goes well, you know, could be some good could be some good things popping in week ten because there there to be two games that matter instead of just one. You know. So there you have it. That's it. Um, we're gonna get on out of here at Skedaddle and I will see you all throughout the weekend talking, you know, indoor football, talking to USFL, potentially a lacrosse video, again, that, that's potentially there. Monday night, potentially too, the NBA Finals could end on Monday night, so, uh, you know, could could be an interesting four-day stretch on this channel, three to four-day stretch, so, I'll see you all then, y'all take care, have a good night, and have a good day, or where, whenever you're watching this, you know, just... Take care.